What's up, everybody? Should be a quick video. I uh, want to get a um, recap up of a few through the mail autograph requests that came back. One being a success, one being a failure. Yeah. yeah. We'll get to the failure last. Pretty uh, interesting and she was not happy, let's say that. Um, some of the things she said were... Uh... Anyway, I, uh, I'm in the Autographs 101 group. A lot of toxic people in there, but there are some cool people as well. Um, but I uh, sent Ivana White a message on her fan page on Facebook through Messenger. And I don't think it's her. I think she has somebody working for her. But uh, got back a requested a signed, which and I have one stamp. International uh, Global Forever stamp that probably would get thrown away. Not used. Anyway. I got assigned 8x10 back from her and Pat Sajak. Not a fan of Sajak, but uh, really cool dual signed photo. Um, yeah, can't beat a dual signed photo. There's that. Vanna White and Sajak. Live Inc. Um, people that were posting their, when they got theirs in. Uh, Vano signs down here sometimes, up here, uh, to somebody, like to Tom or Bob or whatever. And the autographs are always a little bit different. So these definitely are legit, not ghost signed, not secretarial, not preprints, legit. So, yeah. Thank you to Vano White. Appreciate that. Came back like five days. It's a really cool this one she sent my cards back so thank for thank uh thank her for that um <laughs> to send me a note back uh coming back from anybody ever heard of brooke gordon or uh yeah brooke gordon jeff gordon's ex-wife at least she sent my cards back um so, there was no address on Star Tiger, like a current address, and I like to, you know, test addresses out if I find something that will work. And I sent them out about six months ago, and they came back, and I'm thinking, cool, she signed them. I know she's a tough autograph to get, and uh, obviously I figured that out now, but, uh, so I got back from her and I invaded her privacy. Um, yeah, I'm not a true fan sending to her, her house. I should have sent it to her agency. Um, a few cuss words in there. Yeah, it, it was <laughs> quite pretty funny. So I get it. You know, it's not proper to send to some celebrities' houses, but 95% of the time, it's not an issue. They either won't sign, they'll throw it away, or they send it back to you signed. Never had a problem, but this chick. Oh, and <laughs> it's only Jeff Gordon fans that send to her. I didn't mention anything about Jeff Gordon, because I knew... That he had possibly cheated on her allegedly with a, another model. So I didn't mention anything about Jeff Gordon. So why she mentioned it to me blows my mind. Um, so if anybody wants to see the letter, I'll gladly uh, take a pic and send it to you. But it's just uh, I may send back with the cards back with uh, under my wife's name. So you know, you might get a shot. So. But yeah, man. Uh, thank you to Vanna White, and uh, yeah, let's turn you guys around, show you a few cards, 
I hope everybody's doing good out there, man. Um, yeah. Flip you around. All right, got you guys flipped around. Um, so this car came in two months after I purchased it. <laughs> this was purchased back at the end of... Man, I don't even have the envelope anymore. I can look on my eBay thing and put it up here and you'll be able to see. So about, I think it was roughly two months. But the seller messaged me, he's like, did you get this car? And I was like, no, I didn't get it. And uh, he sent me a full refund. It's his uh, 2008 Classics Rookie to $9.99. And uh, so I messaged him today and told him, hey, I got the card. So, um, yeah, so got that in. And then um, got this Matt Olson, Top Living 2022 in his Braves uniform. So that one's pretty cool. He has one in his A's uni, which I'm not worried about, so I want him in the Braves. The rookie stuff, I don't mind, but, uh, and, uh, funny one here, I was, this one, 96 Playoff Illusions Marino, I mean, look at that card. The base cards didn't look like this, and in the photo, that was taken it kind of was like that so I just assumed it was the base illusions it's not PSA screwed up didn't hold her properly it's a spect illusion uh, elite uh, card insert so PSA didn't put that here just illusions is all they put and won this card for nothing and these cards sell pretty well uh, if they're graded. It's a freaking sweet looking card there. I remember breaking a few packs of these back in the day. And uh, yeah, I just assumed it was that plain looking design like that. And even then it looks cool, but yeah, super, super cool there. And then... Uh, the nice one, the big one, for me anyway, for a lot of people it's not a huge card, but for me, the Matt Ryan collection, this is huge, it's the uh, 2015 Flawless Matt Ryan, little story behind this, um, these cards when they pop up, the sellers always want like 350 or best offer. I wouldn't pay two fifty or two hundred for this card. And it's just cool that it popped up for auction finally after years of waiting. And I was able to bid, and uh, yeah, under a hundred bucks. I mean, it's the Y from the back of his nameplate and the A. So, it's awesome. Number three of ten down here. But freaking sweet looking card. Yeah, super pumped to, to own this. And awesome addition for the Matt Ryan collection. Who, kind of hoping the Jets call. The Jets call them. Never know, man. Even as a backup. Because we all know that uh, Zach Wilson's not going to be um, not going to carry that team through the year. Just watch. So, hoping Matt gets an, one more chance yet. We'll see. But, uh, Rodgers got four plays and went down for the year. It's crazy. Four, it's nuts. And then, um, I forgot to show one here. This one came in while we're on vacation. I haven't picked up much. But uh, the 95 Finest Boosters Refractor. So, yeah. These were tough to hit back in the day. I, think, I believe you only hit one refractor per box. So, and the Finest cards were not cheap. It was either one or two refractors. But yeah, super cool. 
There's the back on that one. Uh, no, graded graded by Beckett a nine, so super nice. Yeah, so really happy with that, and uh, that is my pickups. Um, let me turn you guys back around. Yeah, that's all I got for you all. Um, thinking about doing a uh, auction. I don't know if anybody'd be interested, but I have a bunch of things that I'm gonna move. Um, well, I have a bunch of spawn, orange spawn stuff signed, but I have things like eight by tens that are certified by PSA, which I have the matching. ticket to so I don't know if anybody be interested in this stuff uh, I'd probably go pretty cheap and then I have slabs I got some slab slab slabage stuff slab stuff and then uh, yeah just some different stuff that uh, I'm looking to move so uh, if you guys are interested comment down below um, I do an auction up here on YouTube but Everything would be certified though. There'd be no through the mail stuff. Um, and if it would be through the mail, it would be certified. So, but uh, yeah, that's all I got for y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed. I know it's nothing crazy. I just uh, kind of just made me crack up with the, with the uh, Brooke. So Brooke, thank you. Um, hope you're living the good life and uh, yeah. Be safe, everybody. Falcons won this week, 1-0. Desmond Ritter does not look good. He throws, he throws behind on the scrimmage. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, hopefully he improves as we go in the season. So, But, uh, yeah, Bijan looks pretty good. Um, but, yeah, rise up. Chop on. Matt Olson. Man, two home runs. 50 now. So, awesome. So, I got that's all I got for y'all, man. Starting over my own words. Be safe. Deuces.